Hi friends, it's Julia. I am here with week three of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches and for this I will be covering sketch 16 to 21. Sorry, 15 to 21. Anywho, so I, I just want to remind you guys when I start this, before I start this, um, when I follow a sketch, I use that as my inspiration. Sometimes I follow along exactly as the sketch shows. Sometimes I don't. I veer completely away, and that's okay. Um, it's not that I dislike the sketch that I start with. It may be that it doesn't inspire me, um, or I may not care for it, but I still utilize part of it to inspire me to create a layout okay and and I think most of us know that's what sketches are really all about um, they are fun and exciting um, when you're doing a project like this for the 30 days of sketches where you're getting a brand new sketch every single day and I love that the sketches that we have this go around were created specifically for 30 days of sketches or were brought in uh, with permission to use for 30 days of sketches and I love that guys I appreciate everyone who provides sketches and and I appreciate everyone who does the layouts because sometimes if a sketch stumps me, I will go over to Christie's Beautiful Life and go through the the uh, post that she has on each day's sketch and see all the layouts that have been created and I get so inspired. Um, and sometimes I see other people veer off and go their own direction and I'm like, oh, I can follow them and I follow along with whatever they're doing with the sketch. Anyway, that's just a, a little bit of information about what sketches are for me. So I'm going to start off day number 15, or sketch number 15. This one was created by Michelle Buccina. I'm not sure if that's correct, but uh, did my best there. Um, and you can see this one is a two uh, photo sketch, and I followed along with it fairly closely. Uh, I think my photos are a little bit bigger than what they had on the... Uh, inspiration sketch. My paper started off with some embellishment cluster already here because the paper had some printed floral clusters there. I just built up some additional flowers. I put my my background papers, I went ahead and made the cluster a little bit bigger in the center and then used some scraps down here uh, to create these um, banners coming down. Uh, you can't really see, there's the top portion of one um, and then there's the other top portion of one, um, but they are there. Here's my title over here, um, really simple layout with some gold misting for embellishment. I have wood veneers, I have enamel dots, but the bulk of it is the floral clusters that are creating the layout. Love how this one turned out. And you can see it is similar to the original sketch. It's not the exact same, but it's similar. Now this one is a sketch, day 16 is one created by Rebecca Lockhart Dickman. And so this one looks like there's tons of mixed media. It's got a circle floral cluster thing there in the middle, and it's got three photos. This is another one where I have veered off. I did use mixed media, guys. I did. Um, but I didn't do it exactly how they show it. So I took my mica mist, my aspen gold mica mist from Nuvo, and I put some larger drops across there and then I just shook it down like that to create a lightning cluster if you will uh, that mimics what's in the photo and then I took some uh, blue uh, shimmer or sorry glimmer mist by tattered angels uh, used the smooshing technique on a piece of plastic and went across the top to uh, mimic that um, cloud formation and then just use some metallic gold paper around the edges because the lightning even though it's white it has in the lighting it has a goldish glint to it so yeah I have mixed media but I really don't have anything else from there um, I did make a cluster down here at the bottom with some simple strips of washi strips to put West Texas storm uh, and then I did my journaling here and used a little piece of chipboard and then some sequins to mimic the rain there's no rain in front of me as I'm taking the pictures but there's some rain coming down over in, um, in the background um, if you're if you've ever been through a West Texas rainstorm, you know you can typically see it coming for miles, and when it hits, it hits hard and furious. Um, so that was number 16. 
This is sketch number 17 and it was created by Carrie Simons here and there's a ton of paper in the background on this one. It looks like a single photo sketch, um, but I, I altered it like, like I do. You know, I used two photos. Um, I created this very large tag here with just some, with some scrap paper. I used a couple of, uh, pieces of, flowers that I had fussy cut from paper to create my clusters and rather than have this corner turned down I just took one of the cut apart pieces at the top cut it in half and made it my cluster up here my title across the top here and same as in hers and then yeah I had fussy cut some of the uh, border strips from Felicity Jane and used those layered them up and used them down here used some sequins that I had yeah, love how this one turned out, even though it doesn't match the sketch. It has the same bones. It has the same feel. Uh, the next one is day number 18, and it was create or sketch number 18, and it was created by Nikki Rowland. And you can see it's got a central photo, uh, two photos, and then it's got a strip of paper down here, and then it looks like some mixed media. Y'all know I ain't doing the mixed media again, right? Um, you're good to get one from me. So anyway, I took this one. I pulled out this piece of paper from my stash as well as the uh, cream color and this background paper. All three of those are from my stash. And then these papers here were actually from my kit from my October 2022 kit. And so I made some... Uh, border strips down here and use some washi strips and then use some scrap paper to create some journaling spots and then I used washi tape uh, florals to on scrap cardstock I fussy cut them out to create my embellishment clusters um, and then I had some punch out paper and a piece of chipboard and some bling and flatback pearls and enamel dots and just created it all but this background paper y'all it has a mixed media feel if you will uh, it's got all of that texturized look to it it's purple and brown and yellowish and yeah and so it has all of that and so I let that be my mixed media if you will uh, and on here I did use two photos they are the same size um, rather than have a larger and a smaller I just used two of the same size so next up is day number 19 and this one was started off going to be a very difficult one for me this one was created by Pam Nichols and you can see it looks like two photos, a title at the top, a journal spot at the top, and then some, it almost looks like hills, if you will, um, or torn paper, if you will. Um, that one was hard. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do, so I just kept messing around with some papers until I figured out this is what I wanted to do. So this is sketch number 19. Across the bottom, I took several pieces of my scraps. This one had a scallop in it, so I fussy cut around that, used a border punch here and here, and then on this one, I fussy cut around the scallop that was already on the paper. I did use two photos, but I lined them up and I created a journal or not a journal, a uh, background piece, if you will. And then I created a cluster up here where in the original photo, the title is up here and the journaling is here. I put my title over top of my photos here um, and then made three clusters here, here, and here. Used uh, flatback, per, or sorry, enamel dots and I used some word or phrase stickers and then my title across here and then the gold mica mist, y'all. And I call this one done. So even though I had a difficult time with the sketch and figuring out what I was going to do, I still made it work for me. And so it inspired me with much thought to create this one. So next is day number 20 or sketch number 20. And it was created by Sherry Rubini. And this one had that central piece across the middle, the wider um, piece of paper, and then lots of border strips, a cluster at the top, a cluster at the bottom, and then the title under, and then it's got two photos. So I followed along pretty closely. I had a scrap of brown, and so I used that A across the middle. And then I had added in this paper with the um, glitter on it for a different 
uh, layout and so I had a piece of that left so I cut off some strips from there and again used lots of cutoff strips from other pieces of paper that I had uh, added in um, or that I had in the kit as well as these are both add-on pieces of paper as well. I did my clusters a little bit differently instead of having one up here and one down here I put one to the side and one down here. I did put my title across the bottom and my journaling is down here and then the flat back pearls here and here and lots of bling around these clusters. And so the, the photos are a different shape than what they have in the original sketch, but that's okay. It works. Um, this layout is done. It's one for the books, and I love how it turned out. To me, it looks very glam. Last layout is layout number 21 uh, for this week, and it is, or sketch number 21, by Jennifer Kane. And again, this was a difficult one for me. It looks like one piece of paper with some stitching across it with three photos, a larger one and two smaller ones, and it looks like maybe some mixed media at the top and bottom. Y'all know I ain't doing that mixed media thing again. Um, you're lucky you got one out of me and some splatters on some different layouts. So anyway, here I am with this sketch. Uh, this is another one that I had to work hard to figure out how I wanted to use it. And so this is what I created. Uh, I did pull the background paper, the craft paper into this kit to ground this uh, floral paper. I was going to put my my um, photos directly on it, but because they're black and white, they just felt like they they fell into the background print. So I used a cream color cardstock to border them, and it works for me. Used a cut apart piece down here to do my journaling on. Created a cluster here, here, and here, and put my title down here. And to mimic that stitched. Uh, border across the middle. I just used a scrap of paper and a couple of washi strips. Um, used some enamel dots. Used some hearts that I punched out out of scrap paper as well as some photo corners that I punched out of scrap paper. A chipboard piece and a label sticker and it's a done layout. Anyway guys, I hope my layouts have inspired you guys to create. I hope the sketches that Christy posted this go around have inspired you to create. Um, and like I said at, at the beginning, even though we have a hard time, don't let that stop you from creating something with this. Look on Christy's um, webpage and see on her Facebook group and see what other people have created with that and go at it with a mindset of, I could do something different. It doesn't have to follow this or look exactly like this. But as long as you get, you know, the, the bumpy, Hills down here inspired me to get out my border punches. Having two photos inspired me to use two photos. Having a cluster over here with a title and a journal spot inspired me to do the same thing. As well as having three little clusters there, it inspired me to do the same thing. So don't let the way a sketch looks initially stop you from creating however you see fit to create your layout. Whether it looks exactly like it or completely different, it's okay. As long as you're happy with how the sketch looks when it goes into your album, anybody who looks at it is going to see the love and effort you put forward into creating that layout. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you being here. I would love it if you would flip me a thumbs up and uh, don't forget, I will have close-ups of the layout at the layouts at the end of the video. If you're interested in seeing anything up close, you can pause the video and have a closer look. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you being here, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.